In this video, I'm taking a closer look at the Sky Replacement Update, that is version 22.5. I have a separate video with the entire process where I go through every function inside of the Sky Replacement panel. It's a small update, but I think Adobe is taking Luminar more seriously now. Luminar has a marketplace with a lot of skies. Uh, some of them are really well thought and, and organized. Matter of fact, if you have Luminar, chances are you already have some of my collections as they're being bundled with Luminar right now. It was very exciting to hear that Photoshop has get more skies functions uh, from the panel. So once you click on it, you are taken to Creative Cloud website where you can download free collections, free for now at least. And those images come in a package .sky. It's similar to zip file that only Photoshop can read. So you can save your collections as a .sky, but you can export the JPEG afterwards. So once you have the sky preset downloaded, you have to be in the sky replacement panel. Just select the sky, go to the settings, import skies, import from presets, simply load the file and you're good to go. Uh, I was hoping for different content, something maybe you could uh, try out for architecture or real estate. Unfortunately, a little bit over the top. I mean, I don't need fireworks, like literally fireworks. It's cold. And I'm not going to add tornadoes to my architecture shot. There's an ongoing controversy with the sky replacement subject. I actually understand people who hate it. Like, I hate it too when it's done badly. Nobody is advocating for using it in photojournalism. Stop whining, kittens don't die when you replace the sky in a real estate photo. Just do it right. So yes, you are probably not going to use them professionally. I was surprised that some of the images were overexposed. And they had some trees at the horizon. I'm not sure why, but you can play around. I'm guessing maybe they're testing possible downloads for new content. Mm, I am very happy to see that now I can load multiple files. Now, my own collection has 300 sky images. I haven't loaded them before, as I had to do it one by one. No more. Here it is. It looks nice. So I would say probably the only downside is that you can't upload multiple folders, uh, but you have to use images instead. But it's okay. So we just go import skies from images. I'll select five because these are large files. So once the import is completed, you can actually uh, shift click to select them all and I can create a new group. I'll just call them Twilight. Huh. And now what you can do is you can actually select all of them and you can export that as a preset. So this would be very handy if you want to transfer your entire collection to another computer because it, it took maybe 20 minutes to create uh, the entire collection I have here. So each folder is uh, 30 images and these are medium format photos so it takes a while for them to upload. If you want to try, I have a free starter kit available for download, 16 simple and clean images shot with medium format. It's great for architecture and real estate. If you want the big one, there's a discount code in the description. Now, there's one thing that is very annoying. I was hoping this was maybe a bug or something, but apparently it's introduced as a feature. So whenever you want to replace us, the sky, it's loading the last sky you've used before. So it's very irritating when you want to replace the sky for 10 images. It's like, it's taking some time. And uh, this is i7 with 16 gigabytes of RAM. It's not the fastest computer in the world, but it should work. It, sh it should be much, much faster. So maybe there's no need for loading that image right away when you open the sky replacement panel. Uh, that's really it for the for for the update and I'll see you in the next video